video is brought to you today by Ghost Tags. This is my own company that I started because I wanted a glow in the dark air tag case. These things are awesome. You can stick them on your backpack, on your dog's collar, and you will be able to find it at night. We've got two colors, blue and green. They've got great reviews. Go check them out. Links to them down below. Now on to the video. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Slim and you're watching Slimothy TV. In this video, I'm going to go over some privacy tips and tricks that you guys can implement right now to get better privacy on your iPhone. So these are some of the settings that I change immediately when I'm setting up someone's iPhone, helping them out like a family or a friend, or when I just get a new phone. So head into settings, and the first thing you wanna do is scroll all the way down until you see privacy right here, privacy and security. Click on that, and once you're in here, click on location services, and scroll all the way down to the very bottom until you see system services. Click on that and go through these and set them up similar to how I have mine. Apple Pay merchant identification, not really needed. Cell network search just gives your location to Apple. They can send information to the cell carriers. They don't need to know your location, turn that off. Your cell network search will not be impacted by the way. This is literally just diagnostic stuff. It won't impact your cellular network at all. Compass calibration, I keep that on because I do use the compass and it's also useful for health apps. So you probably want to keep that on. Device management, no one's managing my device except me. I don't have any profiles installed, turn that off. Emergency calls and SOS, I keep that on. Find my iPhone, I keep that on. HomeKit, I turn that off because I don't use it. Location-based alerts, I have that on for like reminders if I wanna say, hey, remind me uh, to get eggs when I go to the store or something, it can do that. But for most people, you can turn it off. It's not a big deal. Location-based suggestions, I turn that off. Motion and calibration and distance, I keep that on for health apps. Networking and wireless, it gives you a warning if you try to turn this off but hasn't impacted anything. So I turn that off for sure because that can send your location for your Wi-Fi network up to Apple. That's creepy. Satellite connection, I keep that on, obviously. If you have a 14 Pro, you're gonna wanna keep that on. Setting time zone, I keep that on. Share my location on. System customization off and significant locations off. All right, iPhone analytics, all these, turn them off. Keep them off. You don't need them. It just helps Apple. It wastes your battery. It's creepy. Next up, back out of that, go down to tracking. You're going to want to make sure you do not allow apps to request to track you. They don't need to track you. All those apps like Facebook, they try to trick you into turning this on. Turn it completely off, turn everything off for this. Do not allow apps to track you. It is super creepy. They're literally just profiting off of you and tracking all of your interests and selling it to data brokers. So turn that shit off. Next, while you're on the same page, scroll all the way down until you see analytics and improvements, turn all of this off and just keep it off. You don't need it. It's not gonna help you at all. Apple advertising, click on that next and turn off personalized ads. You don't want that. It's just letting Apple give you personalized ads based on tracking you, so creepy. Turn on your app privacy report because once this is on, it can collect data for just you to look at and see what app has been going through your different stuff. So I can see what's been using my photos. I can see what's been on my network. So Brawl Stars made a lot of network calls because I used it a lot. But yeah, you can see all kinds of interesting stuff here. So definitely want to keep that on and go through it sometimes and look at it and see, you know, is an app being creepy and making calls to weird websites? You can find it right there. Lockdown mode for most people, just turn that off. Uh, it shouldn't be on at all for most of your guys' phones. So next up, back out of that, and you're just on the settings page here, go to general software update and just make sure you're up to date on the latest iOS because old versions have security holes that hackers can get into and you don't want them exploiting stuff on your phone. Always make sure you're up to date. Turn on automatic updates. Turn all three of these toggles on. I personally don't because I make videos on this, but turn all three of these on, okay? Uh, that is the safest and easiest way. You don't even have to think about it. Next up, this is a big one. While you're still in general here, so you're in settings, click on general, go down to background app refresh and turn this off, okay? This allows apps to connect to their servers in the backgrounds while your app is closed. Now, this seems cool, right? So when you open the app, everything's up to date, right? Wow, it saves you 0.1 milliseconds, except they can call this whenever they want. And AccuWeather, a long time ago, I believe it was AccuWeather, was accused of using this to basically track people in the background. Um, and other apps did it too, Facebook, Instagram, of course. They would make calls while the app was closed and they'd track your location all around the place. Um, so creepy as hell. Definitely want to turn off background app refresh. You don't need it. I've never once had it on and I've never had an issue. This does not affect your notifications. So if I see a comment down below asking me if this affects notifications, that would be kind of crazy because I get this question all the time. If I turn off background app refresh, I'm not gonna get notifications. That's not true. This has nothing to do with notifications. Just turn off background app refresh, you'll be fine. Notifications are up here. They're completely separate and your apps will work just fine as long as notifications are on. So turn off background app refresh. Next up, you're gonna wanna install an app, a couple of apps. So the first one here is called Lockdown and here it is right here. And what it does is it blocks network calls using the firewall. It's local on your phone 
and it blocks trackers. Um, so here is the block list. I've got all kinds of trackers blocked on my uh, account here. I've blocked 1.14 million trackers all time. Just this week, 11,000. So you can see how long I've had this for. I've had it a long time. It's great. So get locked down, turn it on. You don't need their VPN, that costs money. This app is free to use just the firewall, totally free. Next up, you're gonna wanna get Adblock Pro. It's also free and AdGuard Pro, they have a free version. You're gonna wanna turn those on and that is actually going to block advertisements in Safari. So yes, you could go to youtube.com in Safari and have no ads. It's very nice. Now, if you wanted to take it a step further, you could also get two more. There's one called a Stop the Madness. It costs a little bit of money, but it gives you much more control over what you block. Also Noir, that makes everything in Safari dark mode. The last two, these are just honorable mentions, baking soda and vinegar. If you watch YouTube in Safari, get those. It makes it a lot better. Next up, if you want to go the next step, you can get a VPN that respects your privacy. You can get Proton VPN. They have a free version. It's the only VPN that I trust. My background is actually in cybersecurity, so uh, I take these things very seriously with regards to VPNs. Proton VPN is solid. At least at the time of filming this, they are one of the only ones I trust. Proton VPN, iVPN, and Mulvad and Winscribe. Those are the only four that I trust, Proton being at the top. So uh, if you want a VPN, get that. Uh, it can help shield your IP address a little bit online. And lastly, I think this goes without saying, but if you have exposure notifications turned on for like COVID-19 or something, turn that off uh, because that again is another way that uh, you could be tracked. That's pretty much all of the tips and tricks for privacy on your iPhone. Uh, it's very easy to do. Hopefully this video lined it all up for you and you can easily implement those changes. If this helped you, share it with your family and friends. You don't want them being tracked either. It's definitely creepy, uh, but these fixes should help you quite a bit. So that's all I got for this video, guys. If you liked it, hit it with a big thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.